Alrighty guys, let's give it a shot. Hi there, I just actually wanted to call for a uh, takeout order, please. Okay, why are, are you ready to order? Yes, uh, just, you guys have the uh, the new croissants, right? Um, I just want to do one uh, salted banana caramel. So, see you in about five minutes. Alright, thank you so much. Let's do it. And here we are. Well, this is certainly going to be interesting. I guess they wanted to make sure I didn't forget my salt and pepper with my salted caramel banana croissant. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and of course, another review. Now last week, IHOP announced that they were coming back with their croissants. Now, they did have these about a year ago and I got to try the strawberry cream one, which is awesome. Now, I did do a Denny's review last week, so I figured why not change it up and do an IHOP review. So guys, I'm gonna get right into this one. I like bananas a lot and I like caramel and I do like waffles and croissants. Screw it, I love breakfast food in general, guys. Let's be honest here. I'm looking forward to doing this review. Hopefully IHOP doesn't let me down. Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, let's give it a shot. Wow. I'm gonna need some water after that one. So I'll say that the first bite on that was awesome. Now that was a big hit of waffle. Um, the waffle itself definitely holds up well. I know you can go to Denny's, IHOP, a lot of these typical breakfast places, and you're gonna get these pancakes, waffles, and they're gonna be, sometimes be soggy. Now getting this to go, I thought the waffle was gonna be, uh, yeah, it wasn't gonna hold up well. But surprisingly, it actually did. Now we're gonna try a little bit of the filling and see how that tastes. With the banana, of course. Solid. So like I said, I had the waffle croissant strawberry cream version last year, uh, and then this year I tried the salted caramel with the bananas, and they also have a savory one. I think it has like spinach and cheese in it or something like that, but I'm a sweets guy and I'm a breakfast guy, so I was gonna do this one today. So what do I think of it? Taste-wise, it definitely gets a nine out of 10 for me. This is something that is absolutely delicious. Now, it is extremely sweet, everybody. So I do love sweet foods again, but this is something that you really have to brace yourself for. Uh, as far as it being sweeter than the strawberry cream, I don't feel like it is. It's definitely for caramel lovers. Now, don't get me wrong, the bananas are nice. They did throw in a lot of banana slices with this one. All the sauce pretty much is just a bunch of caramel. Um, caramel sauce on top and then the caramel filling, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I don't really get a lot of banana taste to it overall. The filling is nice and dense, and it's nice and thick. So nothing nothing like the strawberry version where the, uh, the cream essentially is just kind of like whipped cream in my opinion. This again is the very thick and dense. This is definitely gonna cure your sweet tooth. At the end of the day, all this reminded me less of like a waffle and more of like a funnel cake you get at the fair. Uh, that's how sweet this is, which leads me to my next point, nutrition. Now guys, I do my fair share of food reviews on this channel, and I do review a lot of sweet food and a lot of foods that people would deem unhealthy. Uh, but for the most part, this is something I kind of have to bring up because a lot of you do practice flexible dieting, you count your macros and everything like that. So, so one of these bad boys clocks in at 570 calories, 31 grams of fat, 19 grams of saturated fat, one gram of trans fat, 540 milligrams of sodium, 66 carbohydrates, a whopping two grams of fiber, 31 grams of sugar, and got that protein, seven grams of protein. Value-wise, this cost me about $5.99, which is great. Uh, I don't feel like this would be a total meal for 99% uh, of people. People are gonna go to IHOP, they're gonna get toast, they're gonna get eggs, bacon, whatever. Um, 
it's a great way to go out on a Sunday, cure your sweet tooth, like I said, uh, enjoy it and move on. It's nothing really special, guys. It's not gonna make or break you. Um, this is really good if you like caramel again. For an overall rating for me, guys, this gets an eight out of 10. Go try it. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys liked the review. I do like doing these food reviews. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comments below. Feel free to follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and I just want to let everybody know, go ride a bike. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Uh,